Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to learn about Google Docs in a Jamboard. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody. So this is going to be a pretty simple project, but it's also a useful project as you learn the buttons in a Google Doc and in my classroom, prepare for the quiz on those buttons. So the first thing you need to do is when you open this Jamboard from the link, and it will be in the link of the video as well, you need to click make a copy. You cannot change anything until you do. Instead of saying master, put your name. So I'm going to put Mike H and it's gonna be my Google Doc Jam, and I'm gonna hit OK. I'm not sharing it with anybody, I'm just creating it, and this will be the one that you study off of, and then you'll also turn in your screenshot when you're done. So add a sticky note with your name on it. If you have never used a Jamboard, sticky note is this button. Pick your color, and like I said, put your name in. I am Mike, so I will put it up there just like that. The second thing is add a text label for each button. Friends, I need you to understand these buttons. Uh, you can type these wherever you want. This one is the undo button. I'm going to squeeze this down so it fits, and I'm going to put it close to where that button is. So we know that is the undo button. You need to do that for every single button on the page. So when I did this with students for the first time, kids said, I don't know the button. Well, let me show you how to solve that. Open a Google Doc. When you get your blank Google Doc, all you have to do, friends, is move up on top of the button and check it out. It tells you that that is the redo button and it tells you the shortcut. We'll talk about shortcuts in just a minute, but at least now you know where you can find those as well. So let's return to our Jamboard. And I think the easiest way is to use a special shortcut called Control C and then Control V. I do want you to have those memorized. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. There is another one, Control X. Notice it looks like scissors. That's because Control X is cut. We'll add those in a minute. Let's first change this to say redo. And that, my friends, is the project. You need to go through all five pages. You need to add the text label for every single button. These are things that are going to be on the quiz. When you take the quiz, you're not going to be able to look at tabs, so that's why you need to know these by heart, so that way you're ready for our quiz. So now that you understand how you have to label these, let's add those shortcuts down at the bottom. I need a sticky note that says copy, and let's do control C, which is copy, and do control V, and then make the next sticky note say paste. I want you to get used to changing colors just because it looks cooler. And then the last one we're going to do, once again, we'll do Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Friends, I'm really trying to pound these three into your head. And the last one, of course, is going to be cut. I'm going to pick another different color. And below those, now we're going to put the shortcuts. So this is the Control key. So I'm going to do Control C and Control V to make a copy of it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then the copy command is control C. So what we're going to do is go to the text box and we're going to put the plus sign and we're going to do C and then we'll squish that down. I'm going to do control V again. So I've got another one of those control buttons and I'm going to squeeze it down and then paste. I can click on this and do control C and control V and we're going to change paste to control V. Now, if you look at your keyboard, they chose the C, the V, and the X because they're closest to the control key, so you can reach them with one hand. That's why these shortcuts are super handy. So I'm going to do this one backwards. I'm going to do control V. I'm going to paste the letters first because I already had them copied. And then this time, I'm just going to use the last control key so I can label it. And cut is control, and it's an X. And I like it most because X looks like scissors. And of course, control C for copy. Copy starts with a C, so that makes sense too. The only one that really doesn't make sense when you see it is the V for paste. But it is right beside those letters, so once you get used to it, it makes total sense. Friends, at this point, we've taken care of the text labels that you have to do for every button. We've added cut, copy, and paste because those are super important. And the last project is to pick one of the buttons and add a sticky note explaining it to me. So I want you to pick any one that you think is cool. I am going to do the spell check and I'm gonna add a sticky note about it. I'm gonna pick my color, and I'm adding a quick note about the spell check that it notifies me if I spell something wrong or use poor grammar, and I can save it. You can move this anywhere on the screen, 
And then once again, we're learning tools. So I want you to use the pencil tool. Notice you can pick different styles and different colors. And I want you to draw a line that connects to the one that you tell me about. And you need to do that sticky note on each page of the project. Friends, that is the entire project. I need you to go through and save all of them. And then when you're done, pick whichever page you are most proud of. And click on the three dots and save that frame as an image. Turn that into Google Classroom. You keep the real document because I want you to be able to look back at it so that you're ready for the quiz that's coming up on the Google Docs button. Friends, I hope you found this totally helpful and I hope you all score high when you take your Google Docs quiz. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.